For me, it's a great honor standing in this stage because it's kind of closure of a loop. Uh, my journey started about 12 years ago when I was 15. I was competing in a competition called the Young Scientist Competition that uh, the museum holds every year. Um, and that uh, uh, competition is for, invent uh, for inventors, for young inventors to come and present their projects and why they did that and also there's prizes and the president gives them. Uh, and when I was 15, is what, that was the first time that I uh, attempted to do something like that. And I came here and I got all the way to the finals. So actually, I uh, was in this room when they announced the finals. But unfortunately, I did not win. So, and, and my take home message was, okay, you don't, you don't win the first time. So I tried again at the age of 16 with a different project, did it all over again, uh, did another project, uh, uh, and also got to the finals. I was sitting in the audience and saying, okay, this is gonna be it. And I didn't want it. So I did it again. And I got here again, and by the way, uh, uh, one of the managers at that time told me that you're either gonna win a prize this year or we're gonna give you a prize for persistence. <laughs> uh, and uh, and uh, lucky for me, I won it. And I also flew to, uh, to uh, represent Israel in, in Europe in the European competition, which I didn't want. But, uh, the take home message from this, and this is uh, uh, creativity to me, is that there is always a way. You don't take no for an answer. There is always a way, and if you're persistent enough and you do it well and you learn from your mistakes, you would not get it the first time, but you will get it in the third time. Uh, so I can tell you that there are many people that, when we found Space Lab three years ago, there were many, many people that would say, it would not work, you're wasting your time, uh, nobody would sponsor this, uh, technology is immature, it would, would just would not work. And for me, taking those people and, and hearing it over and over again, the third time it would work. And this is why uh, uh, I'm very proud that today, three years later, there are a lot more people that think that it would work than, than people that think that it wouldn't. Um, and this is, goes all the way to technology and to kids and, and to uh, uh, financing and so on and so forth. So for me, creativity is actually making something work by not accepting a no for an answer. Thank you very much.